Hi kitties, welcome back to my channel and today's video is going to be all about this new addition to my face, my nose piercing experience, why did I get it and did it hurt and just things like that. So I'm sorry if I look at myself a lot, that is just because I forgot my charger to my new camera at my mom's house. So I'm filming on my older my old camera but I still love it but it's just so much cooler to look at yourself in this viewfinder so yeah that's what we're gonna do so let's get into the video guys okay so to start it off with the reason why I wanted to get my nose pierced is because I've just been wanting it for so long like I just love it it's so cute and I can't believe like in high school and stuff I used to think that this was like a typical typical piercing and I wasn't really about following trends and I was like girl everybody gets their nose pierced but I just wanted it for so long now well not for so long because I just told you that story but for like two-ish years I want to say and then also just for like the last seven months I want to say I've been just totally obsessed with like getting it but I'm just too scared to do it but I finally did it and I would actually put fake rings on my nose just so I could see how it looked and I'd be like girl you have your nose pierced I was just acting you know but yeah and so let's just talk about the whole story now I was telling one of my friends shout out to Shannon that I wanted to get my nose well she said she wanted to get her nose pierced and I was like OMG I want to get my nose pierced too and she's like OMG let's go and I was like I'm so scared but okay let's go so we went and we also went with Kella. Shout out to Kella. My other little friend got her ear pierced right there. And I'll put the name of that, the official name, because I always forget. And then also another shout out to little Miranda because I know you're watching this. I know it. And yeah. So we went and it was $30 to put the hoop and to get it pierced. So I was happy about that. And when it was my turn to get pierced, I was really freaking scared, guys. Like, that whole day, I was just horrified. I was like, what did I get myself into? I gotta tell her, never mind, I don't want to go. But I was like, you can't sound like a, like a cat, you know? You can't be scared. You just can't. And i just been wanting it for so long, so I was like, why do you want to back out now? But I was just so scared, and I don't know why. I'm just afraid of pain, I guess. So I was just really, really scared about the pain because I've watched videos and they were like, it really hurts really bad. Some people it doesn't. So I was like, who knows with me, I'm the one that would probably, it would probably hurt the most for me just because it's me, you know? So he cleaned it and everything. He marked it. I got to see how it would look and I was like, hell yeah, I want it. <laughs> so then while he was piercing me, you know, they have you exhale, breathe in. And then breathe out, and that's when they stick in the needle. And when I did that, I was just like waiting for the pain. I was like, wait for it. And there was nothing. And then I was like, it's done? What? So my whole rate out of this was a 3 out of a 10. Like, what? Like a 3 out of a 10? Because I've seen videos that people are like a 10 out of a 10. I was like, you were afraid for nothing. And to think I got both of these pierced, my, I had my snake bites. And I was like, to think you have, you got both of those pierced and you're freaking scared. But it did not hurt. I would say that my snake bites hurt a little more than, than this. Let's save the snake bites for another video. I'll rate that. If you guys want me to talk about my snake bite experience, just comment down below and let me know and I will totally do that for you. So then after that, while he was trying to put the ring on and the ball part, that kind of hurt a bit because he was, you know, playing around with it a lot, trying to get it right. And I was like, ow, a bit, but it didn't really hurt that bad. And then after for the rest of the night, it did throb and you could tell that it was swollen and really tender around there. And what he told me to do, how to clean it and stuff, was just to get the gold bond soap, which I'll put right there, the gold bond soap and just wash it, clean around it with a Q-tip, inside and out, just stuff like that. I was like, wow, that's it. This is going to be easy. So I started doing that and my experience was that was it was okay, but... I noticed that it started to get really, really dry and just chapped. Like there was a time, 
I think when I was about one week in that it was really chapped inside and it was kind of bleeding since it was so dry and I was freaking out but I did read up on the internet that you could use you know salt salt water to do that it's supposed to still moisturize it I guess the soap is actually a little harsh for it because it does dry out your skin but I continue to use that because you know it was working for me and this chappedness and dryness did go down so I've had my piercing for about almost three weeks now I got it on January 9th and yeah I couldn't be happier with it now I just love it so much and I did get it on the left side I don't know why like whenever I was playing around that one time with rings and stuff I just liked it on the left side for some reason that's all that's happened so far with it I've just been cleaning it and I'm kind of weird like that like I do want to change it you know I really love the ring I think I'll keep the hoop more than a stud but I would like to try a stud and I also want to get a gold hoop I think I just love gold gold is my favorite but I'm kind of weird like that that I'll probably wait like about two to three months to change it just to make sure that it's healed because everybody is different at healing like some people's could heal two weeks even or you know longer so I'm just gonna make sure two to three months or you guys could also comment down below and let me know how long you guys waited to change yours if you have it pierced or what so yeah that is my whole experience you know why did I get it did it hurt how much it cost all that good stuff so if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and also let me know if you guys have any more questions about my nose piercing because I will totally answer it. I tried to, you know, say everything that's happened so far and just like the whole experience. But, you know, if I miss anything, let me know. Let me know if you guys like it as well. And I will see you guys in my next video. Little kitties go meow, meow, meow. That was weird, but love you guys.